Guys, welcome back to Minecraft episode 27. Um, still glad I've kept count to be honest. I just been AFK at the old mob spawner trap thing in McCocky for about I don't know 15 minutes or something. Um, and this episode I've made a shit ton of progress, and I can't wait to restrain myself because it gets to the point where I've just finished my world in in the course of an episode that you never saw. But um, I chuck the graphics on fancy, and I can see these all these dudes falling down, so that's pretty cool. Just some random trivia. Um, I actually waited for like 10 minutes just now just to get night time. Because I want to show you what I've done. Um, fuck off. Um, what I have done is the following. Fucking bam. Right there in front of your face. Coming out of your eyeballs and into your face. That thing right there. That took so long. Um, that's the end of the mega build I think. Um, do I trust my... Yeah, fuck this. Hmm. Alright, we look good. Okay. I've died about three times level 50 and it's it's it, it, it breaks my heart every time. But yeah, this mega build. It's... I had to deforest pretty much a shit ton of the snow biome in conjunction with my tree farm. I just went to the snow biome. The snow biome. The snow biome every time I got bored. But um... Yeah, eventually we got enough logs and shit to get it done biggest pain in the ass so far without a doubt and um <clears throat> while I'm here actually what I've been doing um every time this melon farm gets fully full I suppose for lack of a better term um I'll keep a stack of the melons and then the leftovers I'll turn into melon bricks whatever you want to call them um it's just a good way to compress them if you need food so for example I'm on two melons now and say you're down at a mine shaft or whatever you just crack out a couple of these bad boys and we'll see how many we got. So we had two. Fuck. Um, so yeah, almost a stack. So it's a pretty good way to keep your food topped up and it's relatively cheap in terms of food making. But um, so yeah, waiting for this whole thing to regenerate nets me at least two stacks, which I'm a bit happy with. And yeah, the reason I did that is so I made sure the majority of the melons were actually pushed off. Bam. And then yeah, just crafting benches to turn the excess into cubes. Chinese watermelons. That's some crazy shit. Um, alright, alright. I can stop crapping on now. Um, onto the mega build. Um, I meant to get this finished a long time ago, but... The whole thing was just a pain in the ass. It was a nightmare. And um, you see these water particles? Um, I've added these on every single floor where you can possibly get off kind of thing. So this is floor one. Um, oh shit. I don't want to knock that out. Floor two. Uh, this isn't really that useful. And floor three is the one where I've been keeping all my shit. Um, I haven't really filled up all the chests, but... Just randomly chuck them in slowly transitioning and um and then the final four floor three uh it took me a really long time to pick a design that I was happy with I'm st it, this kind of looks like a I don't know like a fat kid's thighs that go into the, I don't know don't ask me um I don't know I'm happy with it for now but yeah it, yeah it doesn't look like fat kid's thighs I'm sorry if there's any fat thighed kids you know, oh my god, what am I saying? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the design. Um, I really like this nether brick, so I tried to incorporate it as much as possible without it being overpowering. And um, I'm running Faithful at the moment. It's an outdated version of the texture pack, but so far oh, I haven't seen any <clears throat> um, screwed up textures, which is good. Um, so yeah, the glowstone Oricon looks better in the single player. Not the single, the fucking... Um, default texture pack, but whatever. Uh, I might try and find Faithful and tweak it or something. I don't know. It's probably a big lie because I have no fucking clue how to do texture packs or anything. And, um, got a little bit of a project going over there. Um, that's going to be 
showing at a later date. Um, just to keep you guessing on your toes and all that shit. Um, I've added three sections. I've got the main teleporting... Uh, teleporting the elevator aspect of this. And then I've got a manual ladder just in case it breaks or I need to fix something. And then on the other side we've got a water drop. And you just basically hug this corner and you don't die. Yes. Um, and that reminds me, I've got some enchanting to do. Um, we're going to enchant a level 50 piece of armor every episode in preparation for the end episode, which will be episode 30, where I'll actually find my stronghold. <coughs> actually, I might have to find the stronghold episode 29 and then kill the dragon episode 30 because it's such a long process and um, I prefer to split it up. Um, I've added in that chest just for basic supplies, so if I want a pickaxe, just bam, bam, and then just random other crap. So this episode, we're going to enchant a level 50 um, chest plate. Next episode, I'll probably enchant maybe legs or something. So if there's like a a better alternative to enchanting a level f at level 50, let me know the optimal enchantment level. Because, I mean, boots are like 22 or 23. Um, so I imagine I'm wasting a lot of levels right now. But I really don't know any other options. So for now, this is what I'll... Oh my... Fuck off! Oh, they so gay. Speaking of fucking off and raging, um, I've run out of footage of uh, custom maps. Um, Dungeon Runner was really mixed emotions. <laughs> um, I never completed Master, as you would have seen. As you would have seen, um, I did get a request to do it, but the last episode got a bit of bit of negativity dragged towards it. So I don't think I'll do it unless it gets highly requested, which I doubt it. But um, in the meantime, I've got another map to play. Um, and I wanted to ask you guys if there was any other maps. Sorry for cracking my finger. You know, all that shit. Um, if there's any other custom maps you'd like me to play. Because, yeah, as I said, I'd like to keep <clears throat> two playthroughs going at once. Preferably, that means I can upload a little more consistently. Because these Let's Players, I need to do a lot of work before I, I feel that I'm eligible to record, if you know what I mean. Um, that comment saying I didn't do any progress that episode really tore me up emotionally. I've been crying about it for weeks, no, but it's kept me on my toes and made sure I've, I make progress before I hit that record button. Otherwise, yeah, it's a bit poopy. But I might record, uh, I record, I might skip until I get level 50, have a bit of a breather, a drink or something, and, um, yeah, I'll be back and I'm done. Alright, that took like 10 seconds after I stopped recording. Oh, I almost just picked that out. So level 50, this better be good or I'm going to go choke a bitch. Oh. Mm, mm, I don't know. I really don't know. Do you guys know? I have no idea. A little bit disappointing. Although there are no bitches around me to choke. That was a bluff. I do apologize. Um, but this episode actually has a purpose, believe it or not. And um, I started building up some chickens in this little den because I wanted to make an egg farm so I could make a chicken farm. Um, but yeah, I got about four or five chickens. It took me like half an hour to collect them. And then a fucking cat jumped in and killed them all. So that was a bit demoralizing. But um, I've cleared a lot of this area around here. I accident oh, accidentally. Unfortunately, I got rid of my amazing pixel art. But I've dedicated a, a site towards a chicken farm and I'm sure you can hear these fuckers by now I've got a few chickens in there I might take out all the eggs so I can actually get a realistic entity count um they started off at about four or five I might turn these down they're actually deafening me right now um yeah I've got a few chickens um wait I've got around a hundred chickens there um massive overkill but I don't even give a shit, because I'm a rebel, and I don't, I don't give a shit, you know. Um, but yeah, we're going to be turning this into a farm that isn't totally ridiculous. Um, I mean, we've just got four stacks of eggs just now, that's retarded. I could probably just leave it like this, but it's a bit ugly. A bit of an eyesore, and um, the cats always seem to somehow climb in and kill them. Oh my god, I'm so good at this egg throwing business. I should do this shit for money. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to be doing is building like a fucking gazebo-like looking structure, 
and basically the chickens are going to be hovering above the gazebo via signs um, that are held up by water streams and then they're going to be concentrated into the center where they'll poop out their eggs and I'll be able to collect them. So it's a wonderful process. I know you can already tell. Um, I've got a shit ton of wood where I don't know where I've put it. I've been ready to record a few times but uh, <coughs> I keep getting distracted but I um, finally decided to actually do it. You know, uh, I have no idea where I've put all this wood actually. No, I'm just double checking chests. It's ridiculous. So stupid. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. all right. If I can't find this wood, I might just gather it off camera and meet you guys over at the future chicken farm furnace room. Don't even care. Um, what is this shit? All right. Yeah, this is retarded. I'll be back. And then I realized I had transported everything to my mega build. Um, might do the word of the day. Now, oh god, what am I up to? 26. 26 has been claimed by now. Um, off the top of my head, I do believe uh, it was claimed by North Pole HD, so yes, it is official Santa Claus, has YouTube. Um, but yeah, congrats on the sign, buddy. Um, I don't think I've seen your name before. Um, potentially, I don't know. It's hard to keep track when you've got about 27 names to remember. But um, today is another day, another episode, ready to be claimed. To those who are quick and don't skip through the video to find it, you conniving buggers. But um, fuck, it's so, actually, I'm going to think of a, uh, think of a word. Because yeah, out of all those billions of words, it's just really hard to get one. Alright, I've resorted to toilet humour. Well, the day's poop. So first of you, for the first person to poop in the comments... If you see what I did there, and you're the only person to claim it, it will be yours for all eternity. Um, yeah, all of these signs will be here permanently, so fucking Jake the Minecraft... Cr what the fuck? Jake the Minecraft guy and Mr. Macintosh and all these lovely human beings will be here forever unless a creep blows you up. But uh, if that does happen, I will restore the signs to their original status. And um, yeah, I like just um, adding quotes on all my signs. Adds a bit of variety. Um, but yeah, let's go and grab these supplies. Fuck, I went too high. I love using this water break though. I still haven't... I've almost died on it a few times, but it's totally worth it. It's amazing. And these pressure plates keep me occupied for days. That's what we want. We want the dark wood. Yes. Just personal preference. Um, we're going to need a lot of regular wood actually as well because we're going to need a lot of signs, I imagine. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work, if I'm totally honest, but it should. I mean, my logic is always flawless, as you know, just like my sarcasm, but it should be fine for now. <coughs> if it doesn't work, I can always tweak it. And man, I have like <coughs> a man doing roly polies in my throat right now. I'm, gonna I'm just going to turn this sound to one for now. Because, yeah, that is extremely distracting. Look at this. How ugly is that? Boop. It's like make a mini force field. It's ridiculous. What the fuck? Alright. Is that even possible? They don't even spawn during the day. What the fuck? I don't... Mm. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> so the idea here is to make it four high... This isn't necessary. I'm being cold on Skype. I do apologize. You probably can't hear it though. So, apology withdrawn. Um, shit, I hope I've got enough wood. And um, E-Man, if you're watching, I will talk to you soon, buddy. But, I have to make a chicken farm first. And um, in regards to that spider farm, um, I actually uploaded my... Like, I did a backup of my world and uploaded it to a server and me and a friend were working on it well he did the bulk of it because he's got a brain um and we really haven't found a design that's really good for lack of a better term um because the spiders are tracking me no matter where i'm going and um it's just a big pain in the ass and it's really hard to filter them all to the point where i can either farm them or get xp from them or you know they both mean the same thing, essentially, but 
You know what I mean, Valvoline. Um, so here we need to make a shit ton of signs. Um, probably went a bit stupid just now. But um, <coughs> wherever there's like an air block, we need to replace that with a sign. So we've got one, two, skip a few, 99, 100. I think this is 10 by 10, so that'll be 8 by 8. So we need about 64 signs if my primary school mass is correct. Is correct? Is correct. So we're going to need a few more sticks than that, buddy. 24 should suffice. Um, yeah, I didn't anticipate that many, but I don't know. I may have miscalculated something, but whatever. Shouldn't be too hard to fix. <coughs> and um, the purpose of the signs is to hold up water streams. Um, if there was something like an alternative to use, like, I don't know, some sort of, I don't know. I really don't know. Signs are pretty much the most useful, un like, the useful most versatile block in the game apart from the wooden bucket that's got to be my favorite the wooden bucket wow i'm just inventing shit on the fly right now um the water bucket that's like a ninja tool i mean you just fucking float off cliffs and shit you're like go all crazy but um yeah the sign's very good that lets me do the word of the day and yes i think i just did it then i always forget like i'll do it and then 10 minutes five minutes later I'll totally forgot if I've done it or not, but yeah, shit happens. <clears throat> um, I might go ahead and place all these signs in, as I imagine it might be a bit repetitive watching me just plonk these fuckers down all day. And Venji, fuck off, I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> I'll be back, guys. Right, and a massive 10 minutes later, it is complete. That took so many fucking signs, I've got like, no wood, no wood left. And um, Venji's a fag, by the way. And I mean, man, I love you. And nobody will actually know who they are, but whatever. Fucking smooches for E-Man. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. The design I'm looking to go for, I found some extra leaves around the place. You know, as you do. So I'm going to incorporate leaves with glass. It's going to be a massive, amazing collab. And um, I don't know if it'll actually look good, but hopefully it will. And I need a way to get these fuckers inside... Because I imagine if I pierced a hole in that box, they would just go flying because they'd shoot each other out. So I'm going to have to make like a really... a safe tunnel for them to go through. But I might just do the base layer for now. And um, the idea is... What I might do actually, make an infinite stream before I do anything. Um, put water in all the corners. Oh god, make sure not to fall through. Because, like, imagine me, I'm a chicken right now, fucking buck buck and all that crap. But, um, what they'll be doing, they'll be floating along over the top of these water streams and they won't be able to get through them for some reason. Because, yeah, Minecraft physics and all that. But, um, I'm not sure what to do in regards to this. I might have to place water streams in the middle. Shit, fuck. Me balls. Um, that's why I brought extra water buckets after all. Um, but, but, but uh, I've got to make sure that there's water all the way to the center. So the chickens can be a little bit more concentrated. As opposed to just being randomly placed all over the joint. Um, it's really hard to track if it's actually balanced or not. Because I, I can't really see the water streams. I think I need one more stream there and then I'll be done. If I can get the fuck out of this water... And, oh, lucky last. Oh, fucking nutsack. Um, yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Just to toot my own horn. Uh, toot my own horn, because I'm just egotistical like that. Um, I could just make it completely flat to make it look a little bit better, although I'll just have eggs crapped out everywhere if I do that, and I need some way for them to filter. So all the eggs will probably just be scattered around this base here. Um, I could make a concentrated farm to pick them up from one selected point, but I really can't be bothered. Um, actually, it'd probably be easy to make, but it doesn't look that good. And I like my things... I like my... my creations to add to the world as opposed to having to hide them underground. And, you know, that's why I don't make any prog projects underground, um, aside from the slime farm, which needs to be underground. But, um... Just because it's... If I made that, like, melon farm underground, you'd never see it when I walk around. 
and it's no point putting any effort into something if you can't see it. And yeah, that's my take on that. Some epic insight into my how my brain works right here. But um, what I'm going to be doing is like a a pyramid kind of thing with alternating between grass and grass and glass. No, that's leaves. Whatever. I thought it was funny for a second. Never mind. And um, yeah, hopefully it should look pretty cool. And hopefully I don't release all these chickens accidentally. I'll need to actually get some more leaves, which I didn't think I'd need to, but yeah, underestimated how many I'd need. I've got a shite ton of glass, so that's not an issue at this point. And Faithful Texture Pack, I actually really like the textures for the glass. It's just nice and simple. Um, a lot of people don't actually like the default texture pack for glass, but I actually don't mind it. I just prefer this one. I know, it's, it kinda, it's a seasonal thing. Um, I'll go through stages where I'll prefer random shit over other shit. Yeah, and all that shit. So, I might go ahead and finish this dome, and then I'll join you guys when I'm ready to launch these fuckers into the egg farm. I thought I'd just take this moment to appreciate the sunrise. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. Brings tears to my eyes every time. But, um, I thought I would grab some glowstone. I'm pretty much finished. The structure, turns out I didn't need any more leaves. And, um, I know that looks a bit poopy. I might chuck some leaves on top. Just to make it legit. But, um, yeah, for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. Um, at the end of the episode, I might jump up to the top of the mega field. Get a bit of an overview, see if it looks good from afar. But, um, now comes the hard part and the pain in the ass part. What I need to do is get these chickens into this place without them going everywhere. But, um, I imagine I should be able to do it it's fairly easily. I just need to make a too high wall around any place where they're able to get free. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but who gives a shit? Um, so they, I will dig... What do I do? How am I going to do this? I'll try and place a block down here somewhere so they can pop up here. Then proceed to follow me with my enticing wheat. And then they should go in. In theory. I mean, I'm probably going to have a bit of spillage, I imagine. But, oh well. I haven't had a chicken massacre in a while, so it should be fuck fun. And yeah, so, just capping over what I've discussed in the episode. I need a new custom map to play, so if you've made a custom map for yourself that you'd like to get bit of publicity, not that I can offer you a lot, but, um, yeah, any form of pu publicity, let me know and I'll play it through, if I like the look of it, um, I can't play every custom map, but I guess the one that's the most popular, or something, I guess I will play, um, I hate bringing stuff down to popularity, but, I mean, it's, it's the only really viable option to do, to choose, fuck, shit balls, um, wait, idea, Ideas, man. Oh, shit. This is not good. Is this going to work? Oh, man. I've got to make sure not to fall through, otherwise this could go sour. Oh, isn't that a beautiful thing? Little chickens. They're going to be enslaved for the rest of their lives. Adorable. Come on. They're so willing as well. They're so happy. They used to be cramped up into that 2 by 3 I've pretty much just given them all a new lease on life. It's fantastic. I feel like some elevated person in society right now. Fuck off. I'm trying to get these other ones in. How many? Oh my god, there's still a shit ton of them. Oh my god, they're glitching out like motherfucker. Oh wow, okay. Um, I can. I'll be honest. I've never experienced this before, so it's my first time. Um, I don't know how I'm performing, to be honest. Uh, let me know. They're always shitting out eggs already. They're so happy. I think this is enough chickens, actually. It's already filled up a crap ton. And I should be able to feed them from the bottom and make them breed. And or throw up eggs into the roof and make them all to hatch. So either way, there's going to be more chickens, regardless of whether I can actually attract them from the bottom down there or not.
this is really difficult. And taking that sweet precious time. I guess I'll just roast the ones down the bottom. We'll have a bit of a bit of a feast, you know. Bit of a celebration of slavery. Um, you don't see that too often actually. But um Minecraft's one of those games where anything goes. So um yeah, what I might do is just block this off. I can't actually I'm not ninja quick. I mean I can try it, but I need to block that egg that entrance off. Oh, oh, too slow. Can I do that? Oh shit. Shit 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 shit. This is intense, but not really. Okay, it looks like I can I feed them from the bottom though. Yep, looks like it. Love hearts everywhere. Fucking that is a strange thing. But um yeah, that looks like a an effective chicken farm nonetheless. And do I have a cooking utensil? No, I'm gonna go grab a flint and steel and make me some some chicken to eat. Because yeah, I like to eat chicken, believe it or not. Um but 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 uh flint. But where's the steel? Okay. It should be funny. I think I've got about maybe twenty or so chickens left, so should be a bit of a feast. Should have chicken for a while. And yeah, the main reason I wanted a chicken farm is because, um, to be honest, I'm sick of eating melons. That's just too slow. And I mean, I'm already out of fucking energy already, so chickens will be a nice upgrade. Um, just patch this off for starters. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And onto the main course. Oh shit, I don't want to cook myself. The, oh, all the different sound effects are like interrupting each other. I mean, those guys are bucking all over the place, so you can't even hear these guys screeching in pain. That was a bit anticlimactic, I apologize. And um, I'll clean up all this crap off camera, and then I'll meet you guys up at the old mega build so I can get an overview of it. Might wait till night time, be all romantic. Because, yeah, that's how I roll. Oh. I thought they would cook it. Or oh, whatever. But yeah, I'll fix this up, guys, off camera, and I will rejoin you in a moment. Alright, I thought it would be a bit cool if I didn't show you this thing working. And I'm um, in the time that it took me to clear up all this wood. This is how many eggs I've got. Um, ignore those ones, I had to drop them because I'm, my inventory is chockers. But um, yeah, they're pooping out eggs at a pretty constant rate, and I should be able to get a fair few more chickens in there. Um, hopefully. Oh god. Oh god, what the fuck happened just then? I threw one egg and four chi- I have no idea. Maybe I have to go to these corners. Wow, like, every single one is a chicken. Or not. I- I said- Can anyone explain to me why four chickens just popped out- Out of that thing? I have Mass confusion. Right now. Um. Oh god, they're glitching everywhere. So if you build this for yourself- Throw the egg slowly. I still haven't perfected it, the art. And um, throw it into the corners as well, because that's where the water streams are. Maybe. And um, in theory, the chickens really shouldn't be there. Because you don't want to hit the asses of the other ones, or they'll just pop out chickens and they'll just float down. Which is not what you want. But yeah, I think you guys get the gist of it. I think I might go sign out from a good view. Oh my... Eat a dick. Yep. Yep. Alright. Okay. Alright, yeah. I'll meet you guys up there sometime soon. Alright guys, that pretty much concludes episode 27. Um, if you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate your company for today. Um, episode 28 should be out in the next few days, so look forward to that. And um, yeah, we'll make some more progress. Um, in regards to getting to this ender, ender place, and all its grace. But yeah. Remember that word of the day, as usual, and um, recommended me some custom maps to play. I'm pretty much sounding like someone from play school right now. But anyway, and that is Thigh Chicken Farm from up here. Nothing looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I appreciate your company, and yeah, I'll see you next time.